Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So good to have you here again. It's Angela, of course, and it's my last little contribution um, for the Journal Jigsaw collaboration, which is hosted by the wonderful and creative Rach. Rach and Bella from Rach and Bella Crafts. Right, we've had the best time so far, and I hope that you are continuing to enjoy all the contributions from all the creators um, that are taking part in the Journal Jigsaw collaboration. Now, today I am doing um, the Bright and Shabby. Of course I am, because I don't know how to do the other. No, I, 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 this is where I'm comfortable. Um, I'm My prompt is a garden of song and today my partner is Andrea from Artie Maze. She'll be doing the rustic and grungy. All right, so be sure to check her out. Right, so I'm not going to go through the kit. You've seen it many times. There are two kits, one from Rachel's um, shops, so her Kofi or her Etsy and mine, of course, from my website shop or from my Etsy shop. All right, so we have 40% off still till the end of this collaboration. So please, if you haven't already, go and pick up a bargain. All the links are in the link tree. So you'll find a link tree um, at, in the description box for this video. If you click on there, you'll get all the information you need, as well as the clicks, the links to everybody's channel that's taking part. And of course, to the shops, if you're looking for that. Yeah, it's been a wonderful time and I've I've been putting bits together in the journal. So if you're looking for any more videos, um, then quite a few people have added more to that. So please go and check out the channels for not just their collaboration video, but many people are making actual journals as well. All right, I've um, got um, three good things today. First of all, I'm doing the video, so that's the first one. But I've got two other bits I wanted to share with you. Um, so I'm going to do that. The first is, both of these are things people have been bugging me for. So you'd be glad to know that if you haven't been able to pick up the freebies in my Facebook group because you're not a Facebook user or whatever the reason is, I have actually put together a little kit here that's going in my website shop. Um, and you'll be able to pick that up for one British pound. All right, so that's really good. So I've added extras in here as well. So I'm going to give you a quick flip through. So this was the one I did with um, the bunting, blooming bunting. So that's that one. It had two pages, which you would have seen already. Uh, we did this one where I did like a pocket full of posies kind of thing. So there's that one. Um, last week I did the belly bands in not to do with the collaboration video but I did that and I gave you a belly band template and a tag so those are the ones that I've handed out in the last few weeks to do with this um, kit um, now I've got some others now so I in in light of the fact that everybody loved the little seed packets I've done some elongated ones now so these would make great tags or additions to any part of the journal so you've got an extra page of those how exciting and then uh, we did this one which was part of the belly band and I love that page as well so that could be used for anything or just a page on its own and then here's some extras, right? So you've got an extra page to do whatever you wish. And then, um, oh, this one's the wrong way around. And then this is the one I'm gonna use today. So I've put together some tags because it's a garden of song, obviously for me, especially, I have a beautiful tree at the end of my garden and I'm looking at it now because my studio face is onto my garden. Um, and it is full of birds. And that is the song I hear every day, especially when they're hungry, because I feed them every day. I go through 25 kilograms, which is a huge sack full. It is a sack um, of bird seed every month feeding these critters that are that big. Um, so yes, I have decided that that's the song in my garden and I'm going to um, put together a little project using these tags. Right, so you've got um, three different size tags and then a, a little journal card and they're singing away there as you can see. There's a little robin in the tree. All right, so there we go. That's it. Nine pages. If you want that for a pound, you can go and pick that up because if you go and buy it there, obviously there's always PayPal or or, or bank charges to do with processing your order so there you go 
um, there it is. Okay, so I'll put the link in the description box for that as well. Um, but of course, if you're a Facebook user, you would have had most of this anyway. Okay, right, um, that's the first thing. Then I were being inundated with lots of people asking me for bundles. So as you probably know, I do bundles for all my kits. This is um, a surprise bundle that I've put together from all my bits that I've had over that I, I was running out of certain things. I've got in extra stuff now and I've put together the following. So that will be in my shop um, when this video goes out and I will be posting these from Friday this week. All right, because what happens is people order printed kits and other things, which is lovely, but um, I, I then will struggle to get this out the next day. So give me a couple of days, guys. From Friday afternoon, I should hopefully, from Friday and maybe Saturday, get those out. All right, so let me quickly tell you, five different fabrics. Here are five, it might not be those five, but you're gonna have five fabric pieces. And the details for all of this are on this surprise bundle. I'm calling this uh, the garden surprise bundle. All right, so that you know, I've got a, a, a vintage pink one I put out on Wednesday. So there are just a few of those left. Um, you've got 12 inches of daisy uh, trim, which is lovely to decorate with. Um, and then you're going to get a selection of minimum of eight. I've got nine here, but this one's half a meter. Um, a minimum of eight one length, one meter lengths of lace um, in, in various varieties. They will be the ones that have come up in the garden um, lace journal, but it might not necessarily be these eight. It just depends what I have. But I'm going to try and give you a, a, a nice mix, all right? And then eight minimum ribbons. All right, again, colors that are going to mix. So you've got eight ribbons, eight pieces of lace. These also meter. You've got 12 inches of da uh, daisy and, a, and five pieces of fabric. This is just an example of what you'll get. They put, I wrap them up in this lovely printed um, eucalyptus tissue paper and it goes into a box and it's off to you. All right, so I've got limited quantities, as I say, so be sure to go and grab a bargain. I've marked them down so that I can, I just want to clear out the space because I'm busy with other things to share with you. So I don't want to be hanging on bits and pieces. So there you go. All right, enough of that. Details in the description box below. Right, now today I want to just share with you the pages and the things that you're going to need to make today's project. And I'm keeping it a secret. I have a, I've only mocked up a little pro forma that's not really anything you're going to relate to so I have just got it on the side there to help me along these are the pages I'm using today this one's a beautiful page because it's got the birds on I've got these birds in my garden um so we're going to use one of these it's single-sided printed that's absolutely fine we're going to use one of these this is also from Rachel's kit uh, this is also from Rachel's kit, her Distress Stripes, love those. Um, this is from my kit, uh, the green gingham. And then I'm going to be using some of the flowers, butterflies, birds and bits and pieces from this fussy cut sheet, which comes from my um, add-on kit. All right, so there you go. That's what we're having a look at today. And I'm going to just put that to the side. I think that's everything. And then you'll need one of these, all right? So if you don't have one of these, it's easy to make this from a piece of copy paper and, you know, anything, acetate, um, vellum, anything. Um, but this is, I think this one is, what is it? It's almost five inches, so just short. It's, which is about 12 and a half centimeters, it's a square. All right, so there you go. It's a CD disc thingy. All right, so that's what we're going to do. So let's have a little start. I think I'm going to start with the base. Um, and that's with the birdie page. So we'll grab that quickly. All right, so I've got the birdie page. Now, what I want to do is make a couple of folds here. Uh, you don't need to be precise, but what I would say 
is be just check that if you have a US page or an A4 page, you might need to alter it by a quarter of an inch on width or length because it's just slightly different. But yeah, just check with your page. I'm using an A4 for this. I'm going to be folding this at four and three quarter inches this way. And that is about 12 centimeters, so. I think. I don't want to chop the bird's beak off. So we'll see where we are there. Right, let's just get that on my board. I'm going to say one, two, three, four and three quarters. I think that's how I got it in the first place. All right, so let's just make a little indent at the top there. And then it's easy for me to see where I need to fold that over. And then you just need to align it at the top here. Okay, all right, then... I'm going to end up cutting off a bit here and there. So this is, you've got your width there. Now what I want to do is, I just want to make an extra little bit here. And I'm not really measuring, it's just extra half an inch really. So one, just over a centimeter. I'm just gonna cut that bit off. There we go, we've got that there. And then I'm going to just uh, score along that line just to make it easier to fold then I'm going to fold that in okay now this is too high for my page so for example if that was the height of my page I don't want it just as high as that I do want to trim that down to seven and a half inches this way my page is eight and a quarter so you effectively want to take between three quarters of an inch and an inch off the height all right now I'm mindful of these birdies so we're going to do a bit and a bit so let's just chop off what I don't want off the top first and that might actually be enough and keep all these bits we're going to use them all right so there we go there's the first one and I think I probably needed my little circle punch. Let me grab it. Right, I'm just using one of these. I've just grabbed, I've got different sizes. This one's one and a half. What is it you have? I'm going to just, on this side, I don't want it on both sides. Yeah, why not? Why not? So we'll just go like that. And we want to grab our distress ink so let's just go with the blue breakfast hasn't happened here and you know i actually i did have coffee i was just wondering did i have coffee today my life started early today <laughs> action was early today so um yeah I was up and at the post office at the crack of dawn. They, they, I think they were still yawning when I walked in there. Right, what I want to do is I've got that flap I want to put glue on and then I'm going to glue across the bottom. It's as simple as that. So we're not doing anything too difficult at this point. So I'm just going to give this a decent amount of glue. Alright, so we'll just fold that over and we've got ourselves our base pocket here. Okay, aren't those cute? He's peeking over the side. I do love that. Right, I am gonna I was feeling in a very collagey mood yesterday when I was working on this. Um and I have all sorts of collages um from the labels and things that I made the other day. Now um don't um, hold it against me. Um, this is probably OTT. So, you know, do as you wish there. But first of all, I've got a little scrappy bit of lace and I want to just put that on the bottom because, you know, I do like um, girly stuff. <laughs> I am quite a, such a girl when it comes to this stuff. I think I've always just been like that. I've always been very girly. But everybody's different and it doesn't mean that I only, I, I do like the grungy side of things, but I'm not able to get my head around it. 
Oh, my board needs a clean. I'm waiting for my new board. This one's a bit bent in the corner here. So we're just going to stick that on at the bottom because we're doing shabby and definitely bright. There we go. We'll keep that. So there's that. And then we'll get to the bit of clustering. So, um, oh, the other thing that I used a lot of is music paper and I do love tearing it when I'm making things so I'm going to just in between these birds here I'm going to just show you quickly I'm going to put that there I've got my labels that I made for the last one uh, the last collaboration video I've got one of those and I also made some of these fabric ones so I thought I'd use some of that um, so I'm using all the ones I've made from there. So if you haven't seen that video, go and have a look. It's all with scraps and ink and, you know, it was fun. Stamping and fabric and paper scraps and this, this lot. So I've just added a bit of music paper there. So I'm just going to stick it down and hopefully not go on his legs too much. Hope you guys have... Um, been following along with everyone as I say I'm a few videos behind I need to catch up with those this week because uh, we will be having a video for you Rach and I on the 14th and 15th um, so I need to catch up with what I need to do okay so let's get that one not on the beak <laughs> not on the beak Right, and then do we want that one there? I said I was doing OTT, but I'm doing the decorations as I'm talking rubbish to you. <laughs> Who doesn't like a bit of rubbish talking, yeah? I can natter with all sorts of rubbish. I talk to my dog a lot, um, my poor Abby. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I put her in the, the kit running in the fields. That is what Abby looks like. <laughs> and she does look at me like it's you know with very concerned with all i've got to say bless her all right we won't go on your beak either we got a little birdie on that one so i used it that was from the um field notes um stamp which stamps which i love the stampers anonymous and then uh, I think all of these were from the field notes, except for the label bits. What was I going to do with this bit? We don't want him on there. Do we want him on there? We'll have him over here. Right. Let's put it here. Okay, so there's a bit of collage. So decoration done for that one. This is our base piece. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to take our next piece of paper um, and I want to use from this side of the paper and I'm going to give you some quick measurements here. So let's see. We want to measure four inches um, in and make a fold. So we are going to just put this right here like that. Uh, let's get it on the line and measure four inches in so one two three four four inches is about 10 centimeters that's what it is and it helps to get the paper straight if you're doing this on your board I have a, a school board I never take it out I never do I, I just use this with this and this it's a lot cheaper guys <laughs> I tell you that Right, so you want to then just fold that in on that school line. It just helps me to gauge what I'm doing. There we go. All right. Now with this one, we need to make a flap, but not to tuck in as a glue thingy. Uh, we're going to do something else with it. So I'm just going to take the width of my ruler, which is probably another inch and... I need to get my little knife, which is now eluding me. Here it is. And I'm going to just cut that off. And again, I'm putting those little bits to the side. All right. So move this in a bit to the edge of your paper. All right. Just slightly over. 
and again i'm just making a little score line there now i'm going to glue that down but i want to move this backwards backwards like a flap all right there we go and then i do need to trim this down so what i wanted as a measurement for that yeah five and three quarters that way so let's just see what that is so we'll get that there five and three quarters so one two three four five and three quarters and i'm not being precise here i am just gauging it from the board and i'm going to cut that off there we go okay so you've got this now and i'm going to i'm going to just take my um vintage photo here i kind of love my vintage photo i just do it very lightly that's what it is i that's why i like the oxides they're slightly lighter and so versatile um i don't go and buy different inks i definitely don't so we've got that there you can do it on the back as well okay so we've got that all done let's glue that around so i will take the final point here now Although we've got plenty space in here, so we just want to run some glue along the bottom and the top. We've got another pocket here. And then we will make a little notch at the top there. And then we'll come and decorate that in a moment. Okay. Right. Now, um, I'm going to start with the back, I think, and um, mindful of that, that's a flap. We're going to put a little pocket on here, and what I did was I just took the blue paper, I measured the whole width of this pocket, so the pocket is what we said, so it's four inches across that way, all right? And then, um, was that right? Yeah, four inches. So I cut four inches that way. And then I cut, um, you could say, just short of three inches in length. All right, so that's about seven and a half by ten. That's what I would suggest. And then I've just folded in a quarter of an inch on each side. All right. As long as it's going to fit on there. So you've got about a just over half and a quarter of an inch on each side and I'm going to stick that down at the back there. Okay, so again, I've got a couple of goodies that I'm going to just arrange on here quickly. A little bit of music paper. I've got a little bit of the um, green gingham, which I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a moment. And one of the butterflies, these are from that fussy cut sheet. So I'm just looking, I think I'm going to overlap these two at the base. So let's do that first. So I want those on here. Um, the decoration is a lot, but you don't have to take it to this level, honestly. I was just, didn't know when to stop yesterday. I was watching Silent Witness. I don't know if you, um, it's a BBC um you know forensic for pathologist <laughs> oh my goodness forensic pathologist um series well there's about 27 series and um i was just thrilled that i got to the end and of the 27th series just to see that um the two that I wanted to get together eventually got together just to take them 27 series. So, yeah. Right. So how do we want to do that? I want to put that there. I want that there and that there. Right. Well, this is what we're doing. Again, these are from those stamps that I made, which are pro proving to be very useful. Right. So we'll get that there. And this little fussy cut. You know, I've had that scan and cut now for about nearly two weeks and I still prefer cutting it by hand despite how painful my hands can be and numb, etc. I'm not loving it. So 
clearly I'm not doing something right. <laughs> Now don't be limited by the edge of anything um, as long as it's not in a fold you can put it there that's my attitude in life you know don't be limited by the borders of things right this one I'm just going to open up while I'm busy here and I'm going to put some bits on here so again I've got a little bit of lace because you know we've got to have a little bit of lace and I'm going to put that at the bottom Okay, and then again, I've got a couple of um, fussy cuts that I have gathered here. So we've got the little bird and the little bird's box. And then I've got one of these little labels. So let's see. I'm going to put that there, that there, and that there. Come on, get down. Yeah. And then I'm going to put something like this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stick that down. Let me do that. Okay, so I stuck those bits there. I'm going to stick this one, the birdie over there, and then the little bird cage or bird box. I'm going to get him. Oh, lift your wing up, mate. Um, I'll get him over there. There we go. All right, so we've got that one done. Now, what I want to do quickly is I want to attach this on here. So I'm going to have it like that. So it's just a case of using that flap, wrapping it around the bottom, and I'm going to just get it so that the lace is just peeking through. And while I've got it in that position, I'm going to just put the glue on the flap here like this and stick that down. Okay, so that's where we are at the moment. All good. Right, so now we've got our little CD case. I'm going to start with the back. Um, and what I have done is I've taken that green um, gingham and I've cut out a piece here. And we'll stick that down here like that. Now I'm sticking this a little bit close to the bottom. I am going to take a little sliver off the top. So that's why it's a little bit more white showing there. That's all right. Okay. Um, I'm going to just turn that over. You can use your scissors to do this. Okay, well, what was I going to put on the back there before I do the front? Okay, so on the back, I again have got a couple of goodies, a bit of music paper, and I'm not putting a pocket on here. I'm trying to keep it flat, but I want it pretty. So birds everywhere, you know, because they sing in in the garden. So we'll have a little bit of music paper there. Um, and then again, I'm going to use one of these. I've got another one of these little stamped ones. I'm going to put it sort of like this. Yeah. So let's get this one down first. This was just on two scrappy bits. This one's on a bit of tea of paper or a bit of book, old book page scraps, which I love using. So we'll get that there. We just got to do the front now so there we go and um, I'm just putting my little <laughs> I did make this one busy very busy <laughs> okay so the first thing is I want to stick a little bit of music paper here and again I'm just um, 
tearing little bits with my fingers really you don't want to go over that flap so let's close it so that it reminds me i'm going to just stick that there i like the word dance there and i'm going to just let it go over a little bit like that okay now this is where these little bits came into play all right so i did use and tear from these little bits here so i've got one of the little bits that i, I had from my previous one and i'm just going to um, stick that on there like that yes, uh, and that's okay uh, it's not going to quite cover up there but I've got a bit that's going to come the other way all right so let's get that stuck down so these little scrappy bits are so handy aren't they for all like that and as I say there will be a bit going in the other way so we'll get to that then I am going to do the same with the next bit so I've got a little bit of that green and it's about an inch wide that's what i'm doing and i'm going to stick that one just over there like that i do like collaging scraps I, I like the look and it's so relaxing so if ever you are sitting there with a pile of scraps in a basket or also a tray or something go and make strips and well make labels or just collage make a master board it's amazing what you can do Right, so we've got that little bit on there. I have got now a little bit for the bottom as well. Again, some music paper. I'm not sure if I want to... I think I think that that's... I'm going to leave this bit off. I was making it too chunky. So I'm going to put this on here. This might be a bit narrow. Just checking quickly. No, it's okay. Right, so we'll get that on the edge like this. If anything, go a little bit higher. There we go. Um, I'm going to just trim this little bit off there. And do that. Right, and then I just want to get a little bit on the other side. And yes, it's, it's th this one. And we'll get that stuck on over there. All right. Um, okay, so I've got two little die cuts here. Here they are, just random ones I've had in my um, box. So I'm just using them up, using everything up. <sighs> Do you get to the point where you've got lots of bits from lots of past projects and you want to just use them up? So these are from past projects. All right, so we've got that there. It's a little bit on the window, but I like that. Nothing ever stops me from, you know, going where it, I want it to go. Right, I've got a little bit of lace for the top and I've got a little bit of this Swiss dot and I wanted to just stick it on there. So I think I'm going to squish this on first if I can get it off my fingers. So we'll, we'll get a bit of that on. But... We're having a squishy kind of day here with all sorts. All right, get get down, get down. There we go. And then I'm going to stick the little lace at the bottom here. It is squishy. <laughs> well, we'll need a little um, wet wipe. And let's just get some of these on. <laughs> My fingers are wet now. So... We'll just leave it like that for the minute. Okay, let's cut that bit off. Right, so we've got that lock going on there. I'm full of all sorts. <laughs> My jumper's got all the, the bits stuck onto it, but that's fine. Right, moving on. I cut out the daffodils. These are from Rach and this is from My Fussy Cut. So I've just combined the two together like this. And we're going to stick those on the top. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to get that on the top there. I'm going to get these here like that. And I think I'm going to put that there. Right. Okay. And then these two at the bottom here. This one had a bit of that, but you can cut that off if you don't like it. Okay. Looking good. And then I've got the birds and the bees. And the little pot plant. 
which came from that same fussy cut there. Okay, so we're gonna put that on the corner there. Again, be mindful of the edge here. That one should have come in a little bit. I might have to chop that bit off. And then we've got the birds and the bees. I'm going to just stick that. The bees also make a bit of a song, don't they? Little buzzing song. So we'll we'll put that where. I was going to put it there, but I don't want to cover all of that up. So I think I'm going to just, I've got something going there. So I can't do that. <laughs> Ew, dear. Let's put it up here. It's going, yeah. I didn't really want it to go there, but too, too bad. Right. Okay. And then I've just taken, oh, I forgot to sew that on. Let me do that quickly. Oh, my fingers have gone dead right one of my little buttons and my fabric i've just cut a little circle i freehand cut that believe it or not from a scrap of fabric it's going to go on to my little i nearly said hazelnut <laughs> hydrangea petal these are in my shop and the little button on the top there so really easy you want to just get that and then i'm going to get that stuck on there like that okay 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 let's make it we might need to make it a bit smaller it's going to go over my fussy cut a bit but that's all right i don't want it to block my opening too much so right <laughs> all the little guns can go back in the door okay so i think that's everything we've decorated all the sides it's cute isn't it and yeah i'm just this is just slightly over so i'm just gonna going to bend so just cut that off right so while that is drying um i went and took my tags and i packed them onto card okay so here's my big tag i've put in some ribbons that matched from the kit here's the the other one i've also just stuck on a little one of these which is a three quarter inch circle or 15 mil and then put on some eyelets these eyelets are we are memory makers because um, keepers i think <laughs> and this is the one how cute is that i like that one so i've just backed it on and sewn around it onto card i put a tab on there and there we go so we are now going to load this up so that looks like the dad the mom and the baby so cute right i was trying to shake that off Right, we're going to put this one in here like that, right? We are going to put the medium size, a bit like Goldilocks and the three bears. This is the big, the large and the baby. This one's going to go in there. Yeah. Then this one is going to go in there. Like that. And then this one is going to go in here. And then we just, all we need to do, hopefully it's going to fit. Hold your breath. Breathe in. Breathe in. Do my little trick here. Oh, how cute are they? Isn't that just perfect? See, I shouldn't have put that there. I should have stuck it there. It's too late now. Right, and then we're going to get this one over here. So I'm going to move that a little bit further down like that. Yeah, tuck it in. Yeah, turn that over. And get it stuck down right and there's your little project done look at that let's move this all out the way so we are 
we've got this. We open it up, we've got beautiful birds there and some more feathered friends there. We've got a little pocket over there and then we've got this beautiful one with our tag in there. How cute is that? And then this whole thing can go onto our journal page. So let's, I'll, I will find a place for that. Okay, so I'm in this signature, which is my last signature. Um, the one I put in the project from Julie. I'm turning past the halfway mark here. And I am at this point opposite this page with this lovely creamy lace page. I was thinking about putting it there, but I think I'm going to put it here. So I'm just going to slide that out. And I'm going to stick it like this. More towards this side, because here's my fold line, so you can see um, more like that. All right. It doesn't matter that the tag goes to the top. I mean, this tag um, can go more in, but I'm sort of keen on that spot there. So, like normal, I like to just get this straight. So, and I don't like stressing about it too much. So, I'm going to just, once the glue's on, if I've got my little lines drawn, then it's easy for me to see where it needs to go. It's just with pencil. Right, so I'm going to just stick the whole back down and I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my fabric tag because the nozzle's bigger. Okay, and I'm going to just grip that, go to my lines. There we go. So I'm going to just take this up quickly because I went a little bit high there and at this point it'll just rub off with my finger so that's all right so we can just stick that down so let's start with that and just press that down because that is the base there we go now birdies you can go back into your home and then we can close that up we can close that up and there we have it. It goes back in here like that. That's the one we did with, I shared with you. And there it is. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope that you've enjoyed that little project. Go and grab the little um, freebies. If you're in my Facebook group or if you're not, you can get it in my website shop. And if you're looking for any one of the little surprise bundles, those will be in my website shop. Please go and look at everybody else's videos. We are coming to an end. It ends on the 15th of April. And I do encourage you to go and have a look at everyone else's videos because there are a, there is a lovely list of the most amazing prizes up for grabs. All you have to do is like, comment um, and subscribe to the creators taking part in this video well in this collaboration i should say and you stand a chance of being one of the lucky winners so i do encourage you to do that all right everyone go and have a wonderful day i will see you all very soon on my next videos out on friday so i will see you then stay well bye